Hey everyone, here for another battle report. We've got Jamie and we've got Josh. Jamie's going to be playing his Tyranids, which we'll go over in a minute, and Josh's going to be playing his Necrons. Uh, we've got our table here. We're going to be playing one of the missions from our Power Fist and Psychers 3 pack. Uh, main thing to note here is these are the new buildings from Frontline Gaming the ITC Terrain Series ruined building and then the not ruined one. Cool. Pretty good kits. We had another video doing the unboxing of these, but uh, yeah, they're pretty good. Obviously, these are unpainted, but they are what they are. Solid kit, highly recommended for, I think they're like 12 bucks each. Really, really? good. Really? Yeah, they're cheap. Wow. Canadian or American? Uh, American. That's still so, like 40 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's take a look over the armies here. So, Jamie, you want to run us through yours to start? Sure. So, I'm using the uh, Leviathan, uh, Rising Leviathan formation from the Shield of Ball. So, 3 HQ, minimum 3 troops. So, we have Two Malocs, three Flyrins, uh, all with Electroshock grubs, wings, and Twin Link Devourers, Brain Leech. And then we have Barbed Hair Duel and a Malanthrope. And I'm using the Spore Field Formation, so three Muclids and then three units of Spores. And the Rippers are actually more Muclids from the original detachment. Okay, cool. Uh, and of course, Barbed Hair Duel. Yeah, I think yes. you said that. And a Malanthrope? Yes. Excellent. Josh, what are you running? I see I'm a lot of rates. I'm the Decurion. Uh, so inside, I've got the Reclamation Legion. So two units of warriors, one unit of immortals. I've taken Zandrak instead of the Standard Lord. Uh, one unit of four bikes. I have two Canoptic Harvests. Each one have five race with the whip coils. Uh, spider in each, and then three uh, units of Scarabs. And a Destroyer Cult. Three units of three Destroyers, two Heavy, and a Destroyer Lord. Excellent. All right, we will be back after deployment, talk about the mission and get going into the game. We're here after deployments. Uh, over on the left-hand side, it's Hammered Anvil. We're playing uh, Scouring. So we've got Necrons here. We've got Tyranids here and in a few other places. So we're doing uh, Power Fist and Psychers thing. We're doing mission number two, I think it was, which is Scouring and Maelstrom, basically. So there's an objective one in each deployment zone. Uh, so in your own deployment zone, there's an objective one. Objective 2 goes in your opponent's deployment zone, and Objective 3 goes in no man's land, so the middle section here. Uh, so, over on the Necron side, we've got the two units of Warriors, uh, Heavy Destroyers, yep. and the Lord, with Xandrick in there. Yep. <laughs> Whole lot of Wraiths, <laughs> Tomb Blades, Spiders, um, Scarabs. And then over on the and then you, oh, sorry, in Reserves, you've got the Immortals, yep. walking, the walking on. Immortals walking on, and then three units of Destroyers deep striking. Excellent. And over on the Nid side, we've got some Spore Mines, Mucalid, Spore Mines, Spore Mines, Mucalids. And the forest here, we got a Hive Tyrant. And then over here in the ruins, we've got a Bar Power Duel, Mountain Throat, and two oh, wow. more Hive Tyrants. And then in reserves, we've got the three uh, quote unquote uh, Mountain Throat, or not Mountain Throat, uh, Mucalids. What? Uh, the Euclids. Euclids on them. And then the two uh, Bollocks. So, with this, uh, Tyranids have first turn, so Jamie's got first turn. Do you want to seize? Nope. Alright. We will be back at the end of uh, Tyranids turn one then. Okay, Jamie, walk us through your turn one. Uh, we'll fly all three Flyrids moved up. My Psychic Phase, I casted only one power, Catalyst, on Hive Target number two, and gave it to these four mines right here, so they have Feel No Pain. Ooh, on Toughness 3. Mm -hmm. And uh, did some pop shots with the hard Barbed Hair Duel into the Wraiths, killing two. Um, not uh, completing my objective, which is to kill an enemy unit, hold objective three, but uh, that's it. We're not, uh, we're not a fast army on turn one, so. All right, going into Necrons one. All right, we're here at the end of turn one. What happened with the Necrons? Moved everything out for the race, uh, charged into some spores, eradicated two units over here, shot at another unit and destroyed it. Uh, shot at one unit here, he made some feel no pain, so they're still around. Ran up the rest of the stuff, and I'm holding objective number two for one else from point holding. Excellent, so we're going into Nid's turn two. You're at the end of Tyranid's turn two. What happened, Jamie? Uh, movement phase, I flew all the Tyranid Hive Tyrants off the board just because his deep striping might come in and uh, you mess me up. Uh, all my spore formation came back um, and they have the deep strike, so I deep struck them all in again. Um, 
and the last remaining ones I had that were free to assault, uh, two spores, little ones went into the wraiths and I killed nothing. Uh, Barbed Terrigal shot the other unit of wraiths that's only got one left now with one wound um, and that's it. All right, going into Necrons two. End of Necrons turn two, what happened Josh? Uh, end of Necrons, I made some reserve rolls, brought in uh, two of my destroyer units, failed on another two. Uh, so they're still in reserve. Uh, shot off his Malloc and then made an actual charge in with the race. He then proceeded to kill off four of my race with his Barbier Duel. And yeah, some <laughs> crappy save rolls. Extremely bad. Uh, what are you talking about? Good balls. old fashioned swinging from Barbier. Yeah, that is true. Uh, and that is it. All right. I've got Let's... my Maelstrom points. So we are currently at two points to zero. All right. Going into right. Nids right. three. And the Nids 3, what happened to you, Jamie? All the Flyrans flew back on, um, shot all the destroyers in front of them, and number two killed the final Wraith for my kill point. Um, lots of spores, Mucleids charged and blew up. Uh, we had one blow up here, didn't do anything. We had another one blow up there, killed two destroyers. These guys tried to charge, but he overwatched two of them and I failed my distance. And uh, Barbed Hair Duel tried to kill one frickin' Wraith with one frickin' wound with frickin' laser beams and didn't. I made all the saves. Um, so I got one Maelstrom point this turn, so Necrons turn three. All right. And the Necrons three, what happened, Josh? Uh, what did happen? So I uh, tried to get uh, number one with the Spore Mines, shot them off, but failed the run to get my number one. But I hold uh, number two. Um, so who gets, you guys? Just what else did I do? Shot the high turn. Yeah, shot the high turn. It's now grounded. Uh, but then failed to charge with the scarabs and he overwatched. And then I shot at his melondrope. Did one wound? Destroyers did one wound. And that was it. So and what happened here? Yeah, he stomped me. I made all my saves for the close combat. He rolled a six for the stomp. Removed from play instantly. Yeah. All right, males from score is three for the Necron, two for the Nids. Yep. All right, going into Nids 4, right? Yep, yep. Nids 4. Here at the end of Tyranids turn 4, Jamie, tell us what happened. Uh, Mr. Barb Duel, Barbie, came out of his little perch. Uh, I have to get score objective 2, and I had to kill an enemy unit, so I came out. I split fire into the one destroyer here, I think. Yep. And the swarms. Um, I didn't kill him. <laughs> oh, yeah. I <laughs> saved all of his saves. Whipped everything. Um, I killed one spore, one uh, swarm, sorry. Um, and all three flyer uh, he went into the one destroyer that I failed to kill with the barbed terrors, and managed to kill him with a gun that's half the strength of that, <laughs> that one. And then these two hive tyrants went on this, uh, what are they there? Jet bikes. His jet bikes. Tomb kill, blades. Tomb yeah, blades, blades. Killing all the tomb blades. Right. <clears throat> and then I declared a charge from that one ripper nuclid spore, which needed a box cars because they move half and they charge half, plus I'm moving through terrain. Yeah. Um, and uh, Barbier will charge the two Ripper bases or uh, Swarm bases, swarm bases. <laughs> killing both of those, yeah, and consolidating yeah. back into uh, six for Shrouded with the Malanthrope and three within the two. Excellent. And just to confirm, Ripper bases you said? Oh, they, um, they Swarm, whatever swarm. they are. Uh, scare bases. bases. Okay, yeah, yes. sorry, I'm getting it mixed up with your stuff. Yep. Excellent. So what's the, um, what were your objectives? You had to kill, kill an enemy unit and, and hold objective two. And you got both those. Yeah. All right, we're going into Necrons four. Here at the end of Necrons 4, what happened? All right, very eventful. Killed the Barb Hair Duel, took most of my shots uh, with the two Destroyer Colts. Uh, Jamie stepped him out to get his objective two, which reduced his cover save, and I took advantage of it by taking him down. I'm not like you know what you did. That's right. Very silly of you. I don't know why you didn't control Very silly of you. <laughs> he knew that number two, but I wiped him down. Uh, from there, fired off some shots from everything else over here onto his lords, or sorry, his uh, high tyrants. High tyrants. One jinx, the other one didn't bother, but didn't uh, get any wounds. Charged him with my spider into his four mines. It exploded. Nothing happened. Um, that was it. But because I have killed his hair duel, I've gotten two additional uh, victory points for it. Plus then that gives me my kill unit for this turn, and I'm sitting on objective three. So that turn gave me essentially four points. For my turn. So you're up to seven. Seven points. And what for nids? Four? Three. 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 All right. 
With that, we're going into Tyranids 5, correct? Yep. Yeah, excellent. End of Tyranids, turn 5. Walk through it. Uh, Flyer's moved up. Shot a shit ton of shots at his destroyer and his lords there. No, did nothing. Made uh, all saves. That's pretty much it. Now I'm throwing moved up to get my objective. And yeah, that's pretty much it. All right. What was your objective here? Hold it. Ah, the there it is, right in the corner. Yeah. Excellent. All right, going into Necrons 5 and possibly the end of the game. We're here at the end of Necrons 5. What happened, Josh? I shot his Malin's rope that was in cover. Uh, he ended up rolling something like four ones uh, on his two up cover save. Three. Three ones, sorry. Uh, aside from that, forced a jink on in his uh, warlord and shot at a bunch of the flyers, did nothing. Um, but that was it. But I, that gives me my kill units and I'm holding number three. All right. Who's rolling to see if the game continues? All righty. Three points down our turn. Let's turn. Going into tier Nids, turn six. six. Right, we're here at the end of Nids five and the end of the game. What happened here, guys? Uh, Necron so <laughs> After his great OP Nid list, uh, the Flying Circus tried to deal as much damage onto my unit as possible. Check to strike, followed by 30 shots. Only a maximum of one wound was dealt. At that point, I have all of the it's Necrons, right? It's Necrons, right? Up, they just yeah. sort of have to sit somewhere and win. Oh, so <laughs> yeah. Very little thought has to go into it. <laughs> oh, well. yeah. can't barbed hair to go jumping out. See, I actually moved my stuff awesome. around. He just sort of like plops his well, ass. I think I did. Like, if you see all of my stuff, uh, my All right, now, units. girls. Here was your deployment. <laughs> Two units, three units are out of it. Oh, there you were wraiths. Yeah. There yeah, were wraiths. You did manage to kill oh, 10 wraiths, three of them right for random So over here, there's 20 wounds onto Zandrek, and he took zero. Yep. Two plus and four up feeling up and it's pretty brutal. Reanimation. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, same thing. Uh, so what was the score at the end of the game here? Uh, so I got four to I got primary and secondary. Uh, uh, that one. What do you do? Do you add Mealstrom, primary, and, or do you just want to... Oh, so so primary is worth ten. Okay. If you win, three if you lose. So you got primary. All right. You got secondary. So that's eight to you, two to you. And tertiary. Both oh, got I got some one for Big Game Hunter. We both got Big Game Hunter. Okay. And Linebreaker, he got. No. No. Nope. He, he would have gotten it. He would have gotten it. Yep. Yeah. And Slay the Warlord, either one of us got. So you got All right. two, one by two. So you're at 20? Yeah. 20 total. 20 total. Yep. And you're at seven. So you get three points for losing primary, two points for losing secondary, and then you're uh, two on tertiary. Woohoo! So there we go. All right. All right. That is the end of that. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll be back with some more battle reports here with some of these armies. If you like what you see, feel free to click the subscribe button below. And, uh, Keep tuned for uh, for more battle reports.